dollar sell. Wow, look at all these commercials. They make you want to buy everything you see. I mean, they have so many ways to make products look great. I mean, just, just look at all these fantastic techniques they use to uh, get you to buy stuff. Like, do you know the one where they use these uh, famous people? Selling the star. Compared to most people, I spend a lot more time with wet hair. So I like a styler that really dries fast, so I get that full natural look in just minutes. And that's good. Because I don't like to keep my wife Susie waiting. Hey, put this idea into your head that if you buy their products, you'll be really cool like the stars. What are you doing in there? Oh, I'm sorry, Ethel. I'm getting that full natural look. I'll be right out, okay? Get it someplace else. Move it. Yes, dear. I'll be right down. The women, you know, they flock to me since I got that full natural look. You know what I mean? And comb your hair. Yes, honey. I'll be right. I'll be right there. I'll be right down. Tough thing, a champ. Maybe you don't fall for the star treatment, but have you ever seen something on TV that looked great? And when you got it home, it just didn't seem the same. Now you see it, now you don't. We saw the commercial for Evil Knievel on television, and we saw that it had done some pretty miraculous stunts. So we decided to test it out for ourselves. And as we found out many times, it never went even over the ramp. They use many different cameras, all pointing in different angles so they can get the best. And when they get the best from each one of them, they put them all together and they have a very good commercial. The TV commercial showed the jump going very far. And we know that could never happen. I mean, it really went very far when it jumped over the ramp. And when we tried it, you know, it just went over a little bit. And at one point, a piece broke off. Many times, the product is okay, but it's not as good as they seem. Other products do it also. Well, you see, you have this talking G.I. Joe, and it has a string, right? And I kept pulling in and pulling in, and then it got jammed like it would stay in one place. And then I tried to fix it. And then when I pulled it, the string came out. And then no more talking G.I. Joe. <laughs> They also use music sometimes. If it's a dramatic scene with your G.I. Joe, they have this great music. Imagine the G.I. Joe talking commander is in trouble. It's your eyes, Joe. We Once again, it makes it seem like such a great story, like it's in the movies or something. And then there's this sales pitch. Everything is new. New, new, new. <laughs> So new and improved, uh, everything, you know. When they run out of anything else to say about this, it is new and improved. has a newer flavor or something. And then there are other tricks they play with words. Word game. Thank you, thank you so much. And welcome to Name That Claim. That's great. I'm your host, Bob Teeth. 
And what a show we got for you today. Do you know the rules? What we do is this. We show you a commercial from television. We ask you a question about it. The person who buzzes and gets it right wins. Got it? Good. Okay, here's our first commercial coming up right now. Hey, be careful. There's a little hidden catch in this one. Here it comes. My hair is stronger, bouncier, and cleaner than ever before. Earthborn is the first low pH, non-alkaline shampoo I ever used. See? It doesn't turn this pH test paper dark. Okay, here's our question. Ooh, it's a tough one. Put your thinking caps on for this. Is low pH, non-alkaline shampoo actually better than alkaline? I don't know. You're absolutely right. <laughs> oh, that's great, huh, isn't it? Thanks so much. That's beautiful, huh? Oh, is this exciting. Does he get a radar range for that? See, this product is with stannous fluoride. This is with fluoristan. And this is fluoride MFP. MFP, that means absolutely nothing to me. Krilled enzymes. Have you ever heard of that? Yes, I've seen that on television. What does it mean? I don't know. Krilled. I, I believe it's, uh, it's safe. safe safe to use our material. On this scope, it says T25. What does that mean to you? T25? Geez, I really have no idea. It has on the label, it has T25 in it. What does that mean to you? What do the words mean, T25? Nothing. They're just, they're just there. I have no idea okay. what TH Holland means. What does softer scent mean to you? Softer scent? It sounds ridiculous. <laughs> you think that's funny? Take a look at this. The giveaway. When I was a little boy, I always used to send away to Battle Creek, Michigan for a terrific toy that was advertised my favorite cereal. And I'd wait and wait and wait, and then it would come and it would be dinky. It never would look like it did on the box. But now, Cereal today, they have the best toys. They look terrific. I mean, inside, free prize, right? And it's easy to get to, but there it is right away. And it's terrific, and it's stinky. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because look what I've got here. Let's see. I get all things like this. Right in here, it's easy to get to, and boy, it's fresh and right there. Here it is, here it is and it's stinky. That's okay. Wait. Look at it. Big, ah, live dog inside. Let's see. Let's get it right at him. Where, where is it? It's, whoop, whoop. Hey, boy. Stink. I never liked cereal anyway. Ads do seem to promise a lot. And not just things like uh, free prizes. Promises, promises. <laughs> First, that won't settle for The ads show that everybody's having such a good time. They're telling you that if you buy their product, you'll have a good life, too. Fun, romance, excitement, friends, good looks, all the good things. But what you really get is the product, not the promises. I like my lips to look delicious, not dry, to shine with fresh color that stays on and on. Mmm, mmm. We do swallow a lot of what the ads say, sometimes more than we realize. Brand loyalty. I buy brand names usually because I try several and I pick the one I like and then I stick with it. Well, I'd buy um, stuff that I have really faith in and I know they'll really be good, like famous companies I'll buy from, not from these new people I've never even heard of. Hey, look at me. Copycat. Ten cents less. Uh, nobody will notice. Hey, I'm the favorite. Show off. Yay, smoothie! Noisy fellow. Watch this. Underneath the noise, he's not so different. Listen, Listen shoppers. shoppers. Ooh, I hope I get picked. I am cheaper. Hey, my fans are loyal. Here, Here they, they come. come. Here I go. Sorry, Smoothie. I think I'll try this for a change. The brand names really don't matter unless I, I know that one is better than the other. You do have choices. And it does help to know the games they're playing. You don't have to go along if you don't want to. You should tell them that 
you know, they want this because the commercial looks cute and everything, that you have to really think about this because sometimes they're just trying to be the most appealing as they can get. They're trying to be really cute and hot totsy for the little kids who are watching and so that they'll bug their parents and the parents will just get it for them. And then they say, well, you'll be cool if you buy this product. And, and everybody goes like, well, Fonzie says I sh I'll be cool if I buy it, and certainly I should buy it, you know? And um, so they go out and buy it, and they go, this isn't cool. I mean, they just make fake people in suburban homes and everything. They, don't, they never show anything in the city. And they're sitting there in their beautiful kitchens with the modern appliances, and they say, I use joy for my dishes. They work four out of five dentist surveys into your head so much that you always connected with Trident. And... That's how you always remember Trident. Not because it tastes good or anything, because four out of five dentist surveys recommend sugar gum for patients who chew gum. The cereals, they're all alike. They taste all the same. They just um, change the um, shapes uh, of them, but they're all alike. What yeah. they usually do is they have a cartoon character with a fake spoon, and you see this real bowl of cereal, and he's like this, ready to eat it. You say, oh, this real cool, cool character eats it. I'm going to eat it. But what you have to do, I guess, so... So if you like a food or something, you should try it. And if you don't like you say, oh, that's off the list. That's it. Oh, it costs God. money. But if you saw like a, um, some advertisement that really did not say anything about the um, product, I would be a little wary. Like, you know, if you saw something like, please don't squeeze the, squeeze the shaman, I would examine it um, or I would not bother buying it. Do I really want this? I mean... Will I get good use out of it? And then if it just, if you do this, sometimes you find that the toy is not all that great. Yeah, like most toys, kids just use it for a few days and all of a sudden just throw it in the closet and keep it there for the rest of his life. Yeah, it's got your attention for a few days and then that's it. They're guaranteeing you coming back by, you can buy a Barbie and you get a Barbie and say, buy clothes, you buy clothes. Buy a townhouse, you get a townhouse. <laughs> buy furniture, you get furniture. They're guaranteeing you just coming back and spending money, spending money, and that's it. Like the kids say, there are a lot of things you better think about. Like, you won't really be cool if you buy things just because a famous person uses them, or because they look good on TV. I mean, look out for the fancy words like a uh, non-alkaline, and all this new, new stuff. And hey, those free prizes, forget it. I mean, what's really important is what the product has going for it, not all the big promises in the ads. When you really come down to it, buy what you want for your own reasons, not because some commercial told you so. They say you've got a lot to live for. Well, living right is up to you. Beware, compare. Every gimmick they use makes it hard to refuse. That's the name of the game advertised. You know that money can't buy all the pie in the sky. Besides, there'd be no guarantee. To be a super consumer, turn off all the rumor. Don't always believe what you see. You are free. You are free. You are free If you got a penny in your pocket Every penny saved is penny wise Beware, compare 